On August 12, 2019, Governor Cuomo signed into law certain amendments to the New York State Human Rights Law that's been on the books since the 1950s. The state law is now more in line with the expansive and broad New York City Human Rights Law. We are pleased that employees that work outside of the five boroughs of the City of New York have greater and broader protections than ever before. Some examples of the changes are that now the state law applies to employers regardless of size. Under the state law, employers are required to conduct interactive, annual, mandatory sexual harassment training. The standard for proving claims under the state law has been lowered. That means that if you're experiencing discrimination and your claim has been filed under the New York State Human Rights Law, you no longer have to prove that the conduct was severe or pervasive. You only have to prove that you were treated less well because of a discriminatory reason. A very significant change to the state law is that now punitive damages and attorney's fees are available to the prevailing party. Punitive damages are a separate additional form of damage that a fact finder, a jury, a court, an arbitrator can award if it determines that the conduct rises to the level of malicious behavior. And punitive damages are available to punish that employer and deter others from engaging in similar conduct. These changes really give the state law, which as I said earlier, has been on the books since the 1950s, the power it needs to hopefully eradicate discrimination in the workplace and protect workers who are working so hard to earn a living throughout the state of New York. If you're working in the state of New York and you're suffering discrimination in the workplace, there's never been a better time to reach out to an experienced employment attorney to understand your legal options.